Hello and welcome to my talk presented to Milk Makeup and Milk Studios, which is a cruelty and paraben free 100% vegan makeup company based in New York, New York. I chose Milk because of my love of creative expression, so I thought that for my interview today, I would take you along and get ready with me. Milk as a company values expression and inclusion, which are both very close to my heart. I myself am a very creative, curious, and empathetic person, and I'm driven by the opportunity of improvement. Today, my goal is to convince all of you at Milk and Milk Studios that I would make a fabulous and lucrative addition to your team as a social media manager. My plan is to showcase to you my qualifications for the position, the experiences that will equip me for the job, and highlight my ability to collaborate and delegate within a team. My qualifications include a bachelor's degree, passion for the beauty industry, strong communication skills, and attention to detail. I received my bachelor's degree studying applied communications at SIU Edwardsville from 2017 to 2021, but my love of art has been a lifelong one. I began to practice art in the form of makeup at about 14, and my love for it is evident by not only my investment of money in the industry, as you can see, but also by my investment of time that's shown through my makeup artistry Instagram page where I post pictures and tutorials of my work. The page has helped me improve my communication skills as I've had to acclimate to answering questions and giving advice online. But I've also become very well versed in beauty terminology since the production of the page. My ability to give special attention to detail is evident in my makeup looks easily, but also in the painting that I do in my free time and also in my everyday word choice in real life as I strive to be a compassionate and inclusive individual as much as I can. The experience that I would bring to you, Milk, is especially unique because I've spent the majority of my adult life working customer service jobs. So I have a very clear understanding of your everyday consumer. Working in retail and then in food service has given me experience with a wide range of customers, but it's also given me the ability to work in a very fast paced environment where sometimes I have to come up with creative solutions without help from upper management, where I'm kind of on my own, making my own decisions. But as someone who also takes part in a lot of freelance makeup artistry on the side, I'm very intuitive of the customer and I'm able to satisfy their needs accordingly. Emma Vince, a social media manager herself, wrote for LocalWise blog that social media management must possess the ability to keep up with trends, post for special events and communicate with followers, which I have experience in all, given that I'm somewhat of a makeup blogger myself. My ability to delegate and collaborate within a group was definitely tested my senior year of high school when I was in the National Honor Society costumes for drama club, the LGBTQA group spectrum on campus, prom committee, and I was the lead of the team put together to construct our homecoming float. All of those experiences not only introduced me to group work that could actually be fun and that I could actually volunteer for, but also led me to realize that I have good leadership instincts and that I'm pretty good at delegating in a group, getting something done, deciding what work needs to be done to reach a goal. I know that I would fit in at Milk because I have a lot of personal stake in the values that your company upholds. I have a passion for creativity that can't be taught, unique experience with all different types of customers, and a natural drive to create a community around me. All of the things that you preach and stand for at Milk are things that I stand for personally in my everyday life. In researching Milk, I found that they hire people of all shapes, sizes, genders, and sexualities. And as a real life chubby girl, I feel a personal connection to their use of plus size models like their first Sabrina Carlson. But what I really fell in love with was the Blur the Lines campaign from 2017 that they created with Very Good Light. Blur the Lines was an amazing ad campaign that featured people of all genders and sexualities and discussed their relationship with makeup and femininity as non-binary people. 
As someone with many friends and family who express their sexuality either quietly or proudly today, I appreciate and recognize and respect the effort that it takes for a company to stand up for a minority group. The video really touched me just as an ally, so I can only imagine the type of reassurance that we are giving to people actually going through these things and actually living that life to be represented by a brand like that. Working with Milk, I would expect to be able to grow as a person and as an artist at the same time. And I would expect to learn a lot of new skills along the way, whether they pertain to communication or digital media or just the makeup industry in itself. I know that I wouldn't feel bad working for Milk. I wouldn't feel like I'm supporting something that I don't believe in or that I don't think is right. I would be able to be comfortable and proud of myself and I'd be able to be creative on a daily basis, which is really the ideal outlook for a job for anyone, in my opinion. To be able to do what you love is a luxury, but I believe that I would find it there. I wanna take the last portion of my time to thank anyone watching this. Even if you aren't part of my target demographic, which is the people at Milk. Just know that I am not only grateful for your time and your attention, but also just for the opportunity to speak about my passions and be heard. So thank you. Have a great rest of your day and stay safe.